Now that it seems like summer is officially here, it's time for another edition of Charlotte Insider. I'm hanging out poolside at the Blake, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. This week, the Charlotte Bobcats have a new coach, this time a Hall of Famer. New development in NOTA and a summer tip that could help save somebody's life. But first, the 49ers have a new name for their home. UNCC will play their first football game ever in Jerry Richardson Stadium in August. The Panthers owner donated more than $10 million to the football program, enough to put his name on the entrance to the stadium. Richardson also created a football scholarship named after his son. New apartments and townhomes are coming to NOTA. The yards at NOTA will include 350 units, a pool, fitness center, clubhouse, and a dog park. This is the first new development to break ground along what will become the extension of the light rail. It's slated to open spring of next year. If you were at the pool or lake, could you spot someone drowning? Scary stat here, a quarter of all drownings take place with other people present. They were expecting that whether it was a child or an adult would call out a way for help. That's not how the body reacts though. Here are the signs to watch for. If the movement is only up and down, the head is low in the water or tilted back, or they may look like they're climbing. The Charlotte Bobcats add a Hall of Famer to their coaching staff. NBA and NCAA legend Patrick Ewing will work as the team's associate head coach. Previously, Ewing was an assistant in Orlando and Houston. There's good news and bad news from the College World Series. The good? Both UNC and NC State are in. The bad? They have to play each other. Tuesday afternoon, the number one seed UNC Tar Heels beat South Carolina to earn the final slot in Omaha, Nebraska. Eight teams will play for the title of NCAA champion in a double elimination tournament that starts this weekend. Good, now you're going to go buy it. Chop your hands and feet. Let's go. Like you're running. There it is. Are you fit to fight? Well, you can find out this weekend as Fit to Fight unveils their new expanded gym. They're offering over 20 free workouts like the trending self-defense technique Krav Maga. We have tons of Krav Maga and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai and, and then we have Rich Franklin from UFC coming in. The Krav Maga seminars include rape prevention, active shooter defense, knife defense and more. By the way, Concord's own Avit brothers find themselves in the tabloids this week. Radar Online reported Dexter star Jennifer Carpenter has been quietly dating married man Seth Avett since 2011. One source says she destroyed his marriage. The report came out this week after Seth announced on the band's website that he and his wife had decided to end their marriage. Now for a look at the weekend. Tonight at the Evening Muse, Brandon Kirkley and the Firecrackers. It's the release party for their new album. I caught up with them this week. If you could, would you please stop playing? If you're not playing shows as a band, you know, and putting out music, you're you're just sitting around. You know, that's what we do it for. So we want to play tons of shows. We want to open for big people. We want to, you know, we want to start pulling real big time in the region and you know spreading out as we go. Also tonight and all this weekend, you know I'm from Chelsea lately. John Caparulo is at the Comedy Zone. Friday night for all you Vanderpump Rules fans, Bad Boy Jax will be at Sweet. Saturday, the reason we're here: Refresh, the summer pool party series presented by Rock House Events. Cabanas, DJs, and the Blake's brand new poolside restaurant and bar. Saturday, Sunday afternoons throughout the summer, we throw kind of a Vegas style pool party, DJs, different local DJs, uh, full bottle service, uh, waitress service, whatnot. Also Saturday, enjoy a night of jazz under the stars. Nina Freeland and the Branford Marsalis Quartet at Freedom Park. And at the Uptown Amphitheater, the XX and Grizzly Bear. Looking like a spectacular weekend ahead, maybe a little warm, but it should be perfect for whatever you have planned. Let's put this week's Charlotte Insider to bed. Join us every Thursday at WBTV.com. Follow us on Twitter at CLT Insider. Keep up with us, and we'll keep you up with Charlotte. I'm Sammy Jo Francis, poolside at the Blake. Have a great weekend.